How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today on Christmas Eve, December 24th. I hope you guys have a beautiful Christmas Eve and if you don't celebrate Christmas, well then I hope that you just have a beautiful day wherever you guys are. And today we're going to be showcasing a mod again. This one is for Caspian. It basically turns Harlequin Caspian into a pixel art version. A downgraded version, if you will, of the regular Harlequin Caspian. This is a really cool mod that I found, and if you want to get it for yourself, I will put a link in the description, and uh, you can download it. It's literally one file. It's it's not hard to install, but if you don't know how to install Brahalla mods, I'll also put a link to the video I made like a year ago on how to install Brahalla mods. It's a very easy thing to do. You do have to be on PC, though. It doesn't work for console. All right, so Caspian, Caspian. What should I say about Caspian, you know? He's a really good legend. The only thing I don't like about him is that uh, he has good weapons. I like Katars and Gauntlets. I like his stats. They're okay, though I wish he was a little faster. He's all right. Um, his signatures are fine, but they don't come out very fast. But, you know, they're still really good signatures, especially the down sig and the, the the Qatar signatures, I really like. Gauntlets are just gauntlets, you don't have to really use signatures, you can pretty much just beat them with light attacks, but Qatar's is hard to get a kill with, you know what I mean? Whoop. Just using light attacks. Have you ever gotten a kill just using Katara light attacks? Maybe like a side air. But it can be it can be kind of painfully hard to get a kill. Easy to rack up the damage. So you have to kind of rely on the sigs with Katars. And um, one thing that I do find uh, really nice with uh, Caspian Katars. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay, buddy. Hammer side air, go whoop. Um. You do like a neutral light and then follow with a down sig on Katars because they usually if they dodge back Okay, he's like trying really hard now I don't I don't think he liked it when I and I took his first stock so easily so now he's his pride is in the way I don't blame him Still gonna lose though Okay, that touched his toe. Come on, Thor. I saw that. There it is. The down sick. Hold that. No. Oh my goodness. He did. That's one thing that I really took when I was like trying to get to to plat for the first time I think and I kept even even to diamond too. Um, one thing that I had to work on is not kill myself so much. Like if there's a mine there, just don't hit it. You know what I mean? And don't do things that are too risky off stage because that'll end up getting you killed too. If if it's not worth it. That's something that I'm also trying to work on, is something that he just did there, which was try not to throw away your weapons so much. You saw how we were basically kind of going back and forth even, nobody was really hitting each other when he had the hammer. As soon as he threw away the hammer, see how fast he died? You just have to be careful about that. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. I throw away my weapon too much. I'm, I'm not like trying to put him down. I do the same thing and I'm trying to get better myself. Um, it's it's almost always better to hold on to the weapon unless you're pretty dang sure you're gonna hit with that throw You know, what I mean or if there's like another weapon already spawned or about to spawn You know you think you can pick it up pretty quick or you know if you're just that dang comfortable playing on unarmed You feel like you can probably beat the person that you're fighting even unarmed then by all means go for the crazy throws but if, if it's like somebody who you think is like gonna be a tough person to beat Try to hold on to the weapons unless you're doing like a weapon throw into a string, which is actually a really good way to beat uh, high level players, I've found. A lot of high level players don't do weapon throws into strings for some reason. Three, 
Except for Crocky. Crocky's like insane about that. Um, there's there's probably a few others too, but. Alright, going against Davon XP. I'm pretty sure I've fought this guy many times. Uh, so this should be a fun match. Oops. I tried to do a recovery, but instead I did the uh, good old neutral sig. That was at the same time, Davon. There we go. Weapon throw, see, interrupt. I knew I was gonna hit him with it, so it was okay. Throw, oh, I almost got it. Again, another weapon was spawned, so I knew. Weapon starving is a big thing in this game, like, if you weapon starve, you just have a better chance to win. Simple as that. Boom! Woo! See that weapon throw into chase? If you're gonna throw your weapon, be, be, be ready to chase. I don't have my weapon anymore. I gotta be really careful now. Wow, I'm surprised a little bit that I interrupted that. Oh, see, I threw my, my weapon needlessly there. And see, led to my instant death. This is what I'm talking about. I shouldn't have thrown my weapon there. If you just focus on one little thing at a time, a lot of people always ask me like, how do I win games? How do I get like really good? Focus on one little area that you need to improve on at a time. Once you get good with that area, then focus on another. There's always something that you can probably improve on, even the pros. Nobody's perfect because this game is challenging to, enough as it is to hit the inputs and just know what to do. You know what I mean? Focus on one thing at a time, otherwise you get overwhelmed. We both kind of were trying to do the same thing there. Oh, that was good throw. And I didn't get, oh, I had a recovery and I didn't even realize it till it was too late. I could have got back. Oh, he taunted. Bad manners. Now you're going to die, Davon. You, you taunt me, you must pay the price. Okay, I'm playing sloppy. Almost got myself killed. He honestly should have pushed right there. He would have won. GG, dude, GG. Anticlimactic ending, but we still got the win. He was taunting me like crazy. I don't know if he's salty or just having fun. Hard to tell. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do a couple more games here. I'm having fun with the pixelated Caspian. To be honest, I would like it if they made like a lot more. We'll do winter holiday, of course, because it's Christmas Eve. Uh, I, I wish there was a lot more pixel art skins like this. I think it's cute. I don't know uh, why the weapons aren't pixel art. Maybe it's hard to do that or something. I don't know. It's, it's fine though. It's fine. It still looks cool. I hope the creator of the mod, I forget his name, but you can look on the website, on the link, it shows who made it. I hope they make more of these. Actually, I wanna do him justice, hold on. Let me, let me look up the name real quick. Uh, Aham Productions was the person who made it. Yeah, I hope, I hope Aham Productions does another one of these, that would be awesome.
How'd that not hit you? Oh my goodness, the neutral thing. This uh, Isaiah is good. Oh, it's OG Reticular, of course. Yeah, keep doing that cider right at the perfect height for my neutral sig, man. See how that keeps turning out. You're going to be getting bombs in the face like crazy. Shredding with guitars. He ain't got an answer for these bad boys. There it is. So much damage done with the guitars by the time we got to the gauntlets, it only took two hits. That was good. Oh boy. He could have actually maybe... Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. He could have maybe killed me a little earlier. Alright, GG dude, GG. Nice little two stock there with Caspian. He came out really strong off, like right out the gate too. That was a good game. All right, let's do at least one more game here. Uh, I'll do black. Actually, because I have black colors unlocked with every single legend in the game now, we need to start working on the whites. That's right. Let's go ahead and get Caspian white so we can see what this looks like. All right, there's white and there's Gala, which looks better it's like a better version of the white colors you know what? I'm just gonna do gala I'm still so disappointed I wish they would have just redone the white colors into gala colors or something because it's almost the same thing it's like black color has a red accent but white has only a gray accent which is not really an accent in my opinion but gala colors is white with like a I don't know what that is an off-white or eggshell color accent and it just looks really really good I would like to see the official white colors not... Uh, I would like to see them have like a light blue accent, seeing as black has a red accent. That's just me though. And I know, I know, some people like the white colors exactly as they are, that's fine. They do look pretty good on some skins. Almost got myself killed. Oh boy. I don't know what she's doing, man. She's trying to play weird and it's not gonna work. She almost threw away her weapon needlessly there, but she got it back. Nice dodge through. It's one of the only ways you can get away from that. right in the face with that that bomb right there oh my gosh and then I took that nice throw nice throw every time I see that XEL I think it's Zelasi but somebody else 
That dodge through every time is actually a really good reaction to my neutral light. So I wonder if she plays Katars or if she just naturally has that really good reaction. Don't know how I dodged through his weapon throw, but... Oh, she did. She tried dodge through on that one, though. Woo! Got her. GG, dude. GG. Alright, that's too short of a video. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Let's do Charge Digi. Actually, Soul Fire. This one looks pretty cool. Last one. For all you Caspian mains out there, I hope you appreciate it. I, I do love Caspian, don't get me wrong. He's underrated. I love that Shorpy's been trying to play Caspian a bit more lately as well. Bring some recognition to this beautiful legend. But, um... He's not one of my all-time favorites. I'll say that. But I do like him. He's fun to play every now and then. And honestly, I if this mod would have been for any legend or any skin, I'd be playing that legend. Uh, but Because I just wanted to see the pixelated uh, Brahalla character, you know what I mean? But I thought it was even cooler that it was this skin. I like this skin. I should have sided there, I would have killed him. Oh well, we still got him. He was like, hugging the wall a little bit and like, kind of poking his head up too much. dude whenever I'm playing a Lance user I have to like put my mind inside their mind and try to remember what they're trying to go for all the time which is pretty much side airs side air side air side air so if you can really try to imagine that that's what they're trying to do to you you can try to avoid the side airs a little bit easier maybe sometimes you can't especially on hammer but Lance it's a little bit easier I think Definitely, if you get hit with a side air, the last thing you want to do is jump because they always assume that's what you're going to do. And then they jump side air, you know what I mean? Gosh, this guy, he is just taking a beating and somehow he still got this stock. Oh my goodness. I feel like he should have died like 14 times. Should I go for an unarmed KO? Nah, I'll just do this. GG, dude. GG. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed the chill Caspian pixel art video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate. If not, just have a good day. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next one. As I said before, I think I said, I probably won't be making a video tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to be way too busy, so... See you uh, in two days. Take it easy, guys.